Hey everybody, it's me, and I wanted to share with you a little bit about the Veracross gradebook, how to access it, how to enter scores, and then what it looks like as a parent. So the first way to access Veracross gradebook is to go and log into the faculty portal and scroll all the way down to your classes, find a class, and then select gradebook. Here you see I'm, I'm visiting the second term because I already have grades in my first term and I don't want to share those publicly. Okay, there are four secondary tabs here within the gradebook. We have scores and assignments, and these are one in the same. The scores view looks like your typical gradebook view where you have columns of your different assignments. And your assignments view is more of a list of all of your assignments. And you'd be really using this if we had an LMS in Veracross, but we're not using Veracross as our LMS. So we don't need to necessarily use this assignments tab here. All right, first thing is make sure your weighting is set up correctly. So I'm gonna come over here to weighting. If you are weighting your scores, you'll have to make sure that you set up the weighting for each term and for each class. So for example, um, I have here 25% is learning practice, 25% is presentational, and 50% is this other one category, and I have that spread across the entire school year. Okay, so after you're done with one class, you'll just have to visit the next class and continue to make sure that the percentages are correct per class. If you're not weighting your gradebook, then you can skip this section and you can just, if you're just doing total points, let's say, and you can just begin entering in scores right away. All right, to enter your scores, you're gonna click on add assignment. And this should look very familiar to you where your description is the name of the assignment. And then your assignment details is a little bit about um, the details itself. So uh, description could have been less than 3.1 homework. And assignment details could have been, you know, page 32 and 33, so forth, right? Okay, give it an assignment type. If you give the assignment an assignment type that you're not waiting, you will we'll notice that there's going to be an error that occurs. So, for example, if I say project and then I hit save assignment, you see that there is an error. This error is very ambiguous, <laughs> but basically this error, if you see this error, that means that you are assigning a category to this assignment that you're not weighting. So you need to make sure that you're using the correct category weights if you are weighting your scores. I am using other one, for example, so we'll see that that goes away. All right, let's pick a date that is in second semester, sorry, second term. Uh, these orange boxes here will let you know the start uh, terms. So here you see that the middle school term ends on August, sorry, October, summer, September 8th. My apologies. October 8th. Yeah, October 8th. And you see that it begins on October 11th. Uh, so I'll pick the 12th here, let's say. And the due date is also, let's say, on October 12th. All right, so display on portals. This is if parents and students can see this assignment. If you don't want them to see it yet, just leave it as not displayed and you can always toggle it on later. Okay, your maximum scores is how many points it's out of. Um, if you're doing total points, this will matter more than if you're weighting your categories, right? Because if you're weighting your assignment types, um, you can obviously have less points per assignment and it'll still uh, calculate correctly. All right, uh, including in calculated grade, this is if you wanna give a grade for the assignment. So if you're just, if it's like a parent slip or a signature or something that you still want to have as part of the gradebook for accountability purpose, but you're not taking a grade for it, then you can mark this as no, but typically you're going to say yes to this. Applies to all sections. I would say yes. This means that it'll copy over this column to all of your other gradebooks. Just note that the due date for those assignments might be different for each of your different classes because of our rotating schedule. So um, yes, you can apply to all sections, but still go back into those gradebooks and maybe adjust the due date for those assignments after the fact. Uh, extra credit, this is just a flag. This does nothing in terms of impacting the score of the assignment. This is just for your sanity, so that way if you're looking at the gradebook, you can see that that column is, was an extra credit column. Uh, you can make any grade an extra credit column just by giving more points than the maximum score. So if you wanna give a 10 point extra credit assignment, just give a maximum score of zero, and then you can award them points above and beyond zero. All right, once you hit save assignment, you'll see you take into a secondary view here. Here you can delete the assignment if you need to. Uh, you can also change the assignment type. You can change all the other things that we had already changed before. Here's where you can also add attachments. So if you also want to attach a page, uh, or a scan, let's say a page 32 and 33, you can attach that here. 
where you're gonna select from your library. If you don't have any collections or files in your library yet, you can uh, quickly add a collection and upload files on the fly. Um, once you dive into the assignment, you can also see all of the scores for this assignment. Um, this assignment preview, this is if the student uploaded a file in order uh, for this particular assignment. We're not, again, we're not using Veracross as our LMS. Um, if we were, you might see student work here as well. Uh, but you can also see graphs and reports for all of these assignments as well. All right, I'm gonna close. All right, again, if you wanna edit that screen again, just the edit pencil to delete the assignment. If you want to bulk fill, Okay, that's this play button over here. Okay, I can give a raw score out of 100, so if I wanna give everybody 100, I can. I can also assign them a completion status. Note that some of these completion statuses will impact the grade, while others will not impact the grade. Here's a list of those. So in the completion statuses, here you see that black indicates the status has no impact on the final grade, meaning if you mark it as one of those statuses, but you don't fill out a grade, it's not gonna impact the grade. However, a red one will, meaning that if you leave that score blank for a particular child for that assignment, um, then it will mark it as a zero, let's say, okay, while the black ones won't. So here are the ones that will not impact the grade. Okay, pending. This is the one by default. So in our Veracross gradebook, if you see, um, oops, not this one, this one. Okay, if you see these gray dashes, that means that it's pending and it has no impact on the grade, which is why we see that the calculated grade here is zero. Okay, the moment you add a score, it'll also change the status from pending to complete. Okay, so if I give this a 100, okay, you see that, um, uh, this now has been marked as complete. It no longer has that gray dash. Note, you see the calculated grade is still a zero. Uh, the calculated grade column does not update in real time. If you want to see a updated calculated grade, just refresh the page, and then you'll be able to see a uh, refresh here. Um, I don't believe I have my weighting set up correctly, so that's why you're still seeing this as a zero for term two. All right, um, complete. If you mark something as complete, that means it will impact the grade. So if um, this person earned a zero, you can just mark it as complete, let's say, and now you see it was marked as a zero. And it's red, which means it impacts the grade. Okay. Turned in but not graded means you accepted something but you're not grading it, so it has no impact on the grade, versus not turned in, which means a student never turned in the assignment. Right, so if this student here um, turned in the assignment, but I'm not grading it, we can we can give it a check mark. Right, um, if they didn't turn it in, you see it turns red with this big NTI not turned in. If something is late, again, it'll impact the grade. Um, if it's not graded, it'll be calculated as a zero. Otherwise, it will be given full credit if you do put in a score. Uh, incomplete. Same exact thing, a zero is factored if the grade is left blank, otherwise it will be um, giving you full credit for that. So if I give something as uh, incomplete, and I mark this one as late, okay, those are all marked as zeros in the gradebook. Okay. Uh, not required to complete, that's if you're exempting them from the, from the uh, assignment here. Okay, so not required, they don't have to complete it. All right, so those are the different grade statuses and how they impact the grades. Okay, otherwise you can go through and you can mark their scores. Uh, you can just hit the enter key to go down. Okay, if I had a second column, I could use the tab key to go across, and so forth. All right, so we see my class average is a 59.17, even though most people have 100s, that's because all of these are marked as zeros in the gradebook. Okay, again, normally if I refresh the page here, I would see these scores uh, be recalculated, but I don't have my weighting set up correctly for this class quite yet.
All right, so this was on October 12th. Again, something else you can notice is that on my class calendar, if I go to August, or sorry, October, I should see on the 12th that, that assignment. And again, from here, I can click on the assignment and see exactly what uh, the information was. And this is also what students and parents will see as well. Once you're ready to publish this grade, you can simply toggle this not displayed to displayed, and then students will be able to see this in the gradebook. Again, to delete a column, you can just click it again and then select delete assignment. Switching gears here, as a parent, you'll be able to view all of the student grades by selecting classes and reports next to each child. On this page, typically parents will see the number grade and letter grade for each of these classes in this right hand section. Right now we have our grades turned off while we have our letter grades being sorted out, but it would be visible right in this section for each class as well. And that's where parents will see current grades and they can view all assignments by clicking on view all assignments. And here they'll see a list of all of the assignments for that particular class. If you have any questions about how to use the gradebook, feel free to just shoot me an email, robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.